A possible motive in the brutal killing is tied to a Las Vegas strip club. He's a Las Vegas man who claims he can summon UFOs on command. Pretty wild. So we sent Action News reporter Mike Delastrito to get the real story. But what he found shocked everyone and could leave you wondering, are UFOs real? And forget the short-term fixes and diets that don't work. Kathy Ray has a plan for every lifestyle to help you win the Battle of the Bulge. Breaking news, solving problems. This is Channel 13 Action News, live at 11. Well, uh, let's take another trip back into the realm of paranormal tonight. Last night we had ghost hunters, now UFOs. That's right, and there is a Las Vegas guy making an extraordinary claim about extraterrestrials. So we sent Action News reporter Mike Delastrito to check it out. Mike? All right, guys, just listen up here. This guy says the Old Testament, written in Hebrew, taught him how to summon UFOs. All right, he says he can also do this on command, and he adds he's been doing it for 25 years, keeping all of it secret until now. These beings are here. They are here. They're just sitting right up there. We met up with Prophet Yahweh, seer of Yahweh, at Doolittle Park off Lake Mead. We picked the day, we picked the time, and we picked the location. Everyone's going to think you're absolutely nuts. Well, I thought I was absolutely nuts. Until, he says, he saw UFOs. Over the years, 1,500 of them. Can we make it uh, 1,501 today? What do you think? I'll try it. He says the voice in his head told him to go public now. So we took him up on his offer, and we scanned the skies. Nothing but a few clouds. When the prophet started praying for a sighting, I wasn't exactly convinced. I pray, oh Yahweh, that you sent a sighting so that they know that I am not mentally ill. I am not a false prophet like those who seek to kill me say I am. I see something straight up. Oh, brother, look at it. There it is. You can barely see it, a white speck. Then another sighting. There it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Photojournalist Jonathan Hawkins locks in on it. Let's take a closer look here. It's an orange sphere that appeared out of nowhere. I call the boss with an unexpected change in my story. I'm t I could see it clear as day. In fact, it's bright. I can't believe this. It's, it's moving pretty fast. It's going to Nellis Air Force Base. It wants to be seen. We called Nellis to see what these things might be. Guess what? They didn't call us back. But this thing started coming back toward us. It's yeah. coming toward us now, I think. What? See, it's coming up toward us. Whoa, man! Oh, hallelujah! Then, a few seconds later, it disappeared. It's going back up in space. Prophet Yahweh isn't concerned. He says it'll be back. And I'm still not quite sure what those things were. Now, if I didn't see this for myself, I probably would have just laughed this whole thing off. Prophet Yahweh says, though, this is just the beginning. He says we're going to see a lot more of these things starting next week. And he says one will come down low enough for all of Las Vegas to see. Mike Delostrito, Channel 13 Action News. Interesting. You know what? If anybody knows what that was, please call Mike Delostrito and identify that object. So, Jerry, do you mind if we play the X-Files theme song while you do what? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I think I can handle it. Yeah. Uh, no comment on that. Let's, uh, <laughs> from a scientific point of view, uh, let's uh, go right to early warning desert Doppler. And, you know, that's not the best for picking up UFOs, but I'll tell you, it's pretty good for thunderstorms, all kinds of uh, wacky convective activities in the atmosphere. And it's not picking up a lot tonight, uh, as you can can see southern nevada is dry there is some moisture though